And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Garen Riven. Uh, we got another donation deck to try out this cool uh, champion combination. Of course, we're going to be playing the Grand Plaza. Whenever we're playing these kind of mid-range Demacia decks, it just makes a lot of sense. And it makes a lot of sense with Garen. Being able to give Garen Challenger um, allows it to be a really nice removal spell, a 6-6 Challenger with regeneration. Uh, very powerful. In, uh, in that respect. We have some other cards. Of course, Garen wants to strike twice to be able to level up, and then whenever Garen's leveled up and we get to rally it at each round start, then that makes the Grand Plaza even better because that means both turns. We can play allies, and they're going to be... Uh, like, the Challenger's part's going to matter because we're going to have the attack token on of both turns. Um, so we're going to have other ways to strike. We're going to have Whirling Death, Concerted Strike, Single Combat. Concerted Strike, in particular can take down some larger units for us so that can be important um let's see and then and then of course riven's gonna be able to give overwhelm right? like we're gonna have riven being able to make the blade of the exile giving stuff uh plus two plus zero quick attack overwhelm and garen with overwhelm is very powerful or even having like a scout like grizzled ranger with that uh the quick attack overwhelm being able to attack twice same with Cythria, right? Putting the sword on Cythria, making Cythria like an eight power um, quick attack overwhelm. Pretty awesome. Um, that's kind of our deck. Rune, Rune Weaver will be able to reforge for us also. House Spider will be great with Grand Plaza. And uh, yeah, just other good Demacia Noxus cards. So let's give it a try. We're going to go play our five games in ranked with Garen Riven. All right, Draven Ezreal. So, okay, yeah, refresh your stream, and now the chat should be working now. All right, Draven, Ezreal, they're going to try to kill all of our stuff and play Captain Farron. So, I think maybe the best way to win that is kind of have our own Captain Farron that we play first. Maybe. I'll just keep all these cards. Like, they're all pretty good. Pointless perfection, meat bags. Overwhelm. So I'm playing the Rune Weaver, you know, like obviously Flea Feather Tracker is not going to be challenging a Ballistic Bot anyway, but I can kind of like open attack here. If they use like Mystic Shot on Rune Weaver, then I can single combat and kill the bot. Yeah, chat was not working there for a little bit. There was there was definitely a, a bug on Twitch. It was not working. All right, so I guess after a lengthy decision, decided to use Thermogenic Beam there. And decide not to attack. So I think they ran out of time because they weren't doing anything. And I, you know, like, we want to play the Grand Plaza on their attack turn, not my attack turn. But obviously I don't have anything better to do. It's either that or just play the Fleet Feather Tracker. So I'll just play this Grand Plaza. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any, like, specific... Um, way to determine like which one we'll put down for the best deck of the day. Um, if, if you know this one doesn't go 5 0 out of the four ones, kind of whichever one I think would be maybe more successful. I'm not, I'm not sure. All right, so basically, do we want to play Tracker and then Riven? No, I'll just play Riven and save two spell mana for single combat. And I want to save single combat for Garen next turn. Oh man, I'm gonna be editing a bunch of this video. There they go. I don't need a single combat the bot right now. It's okay. Safety disengaged. We fight for those who cannot. All right, so it looks like they probably have Ravenous Flock. Maybe I just use this quick attack. I sense their power. And I guess I could use Overwhelm since I'm doing that. 
Like I said, I don't want Garen to die. If they kill the Riven, then whatever, it's fine. I'm just, I'm not going to cast the Overwhelm because of all these spells in hand. It's like this one mana could, can be very useful at casting Whirling Death, Concerted Strike, Single Combat, you know, like this other stuff. I'm just going to save the spell mana. It's, th you know, three damage on them. We could also probably do better with that later as well. If we had, you know, if we already had like our three spell mana and then it was like a, it was a fourth mana, you know, we'd definitely be playing it. Togrek, you are amazing. Wow. Thank you, Togrek. You are incredible. Togrek just gifted out 10 subs to the channel. Wow, so we're going to have our, our Final Fantasy VII victory music. 10 times. Wow, thank you, Togrek. So we got a bunch of new subs. Reborn NA. OC. Uh... Squirrel, that's Squirrel. Uh, Neoguri. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Or at least some of it. Ponage Factory, ABR Wog, J Dubs, Big Rog, and Rise Invoke, and Elderly Links or Elder Links. Awesome. Welcome everybody. Oh, well, thank you, Tograk. Tograk the Legend. All right. Uh, so they have this Ezreal that's going to be problematic. I don't want to just, just single combat it. Waits for no one. I'm worried about like them attack. You know, they, they get seven damage across. All right, final answer. We'll go in single combat. So if one Ravenous Flock doesn't kill my Garen, but if they do have a second Ravenous Flock and another Burn Spell, then they can kill the Garen. I take the seven. Okay. So 10 mana. So I can play Tracker and House Spider. Single combat killed at 4 3. I'm worried about. So, what I'm worried about here with the letting it happen is them having a Captain Farron out, out of one of these two cards. Because if I let this happen and they, they go Captain Farron, while I can block, they're still going to have the three decimates and I'm going to be at seven. Um, but I guess, I guess I'd have Whirling Death at that point. So, I won't be at seven, I'll be at 11. Or no, I guess I would be at 7, but I'd keep my Captain Farron alive. I'm, I'm really worried that they have a Captain Farron. As long as they don't have Captain Farron, I'm just fine. Of course they have it. They just always have it. Do they play three Captain Farrens? It sure feels like it. Sure feels like it. But I had the Whirling Death.
Ooh, rummaging away two. Two decimates, gone. So that only does one extra damage to me, that puts me to seven. I could cast the Concerted Strike to stay at eight. Which there is definitely a difference between eight and seven whenever we're dealing with Decimate. do it. There's a pretty good difference between 8 and 7. You know, basically the difference between, you know, 3 and, you know, being at 3 or being at 4. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. System upgrade. This is a good draw, this Bright Seal Protector. So if I play the other Decimate right now, we die to Mystic Shot. Because assuming they're playing, you know, like, they could do... Well, no, I guess we don't die to Mystic Shot. We die to... Yeah, we died to Mystic Shot. Right, yeah, because that's that puts us to three. They attack with all three of these. We, we take one from that thing, so we died to Mystic Shot. Or I can... Concerted Strike, which I think that's what I have to do, is Concerted Strike, so I don't die to Mystic Shot. I can't really pass the turn, because then I waste too much mana if I pass the turn, because I'm going to have... I, yeah, I can't I can't waste the two extra mana, because I need, like, 15 total mana for these three cards. So, yeah, I can't... I, can't, I don't think I can... I don't, yeah, I don't think I can uh, pass that. Let's just go ahead and do this. Two decimates. Time for the main event. All right, do you, do you have it or not? Okay, no, no, get excited. There we go. I think that was my best play to win. Especially for how they were playing, how they got rid of those decimates, it kind of felt like, you know, like Mystic Shot. I thought that's what I kind of uh, had them on was Mystic Shot there. All right, got go hard. So, <clears throat> Garen's gonna be pretty good against go hard because it's difficult for them to kill it. Um, Tracker is gonna be a little easier to kill with. You know, actually having just go hard, but I I do like tracker like later on in the game. Being able to go like tracker plus something else challenge because they have all of those, all sorts of two twos. You know, like twisted fate, zap spray fin. Those are cards that are pretty important to challenge. I've up something special. Um, I'll just pass. I'll buy you some time. This is unfortunate. I don't want to play Grand Plaza right now. Yeah, I think we have to play it on their turn. Yep. Which is why I fear they would do last turn. Um... If I would have played that last turn. But I gave myself another option of finding something that's better. It's good to have options. Deal me in. Blue 
as the Serpentine. I've burned two total mana. Alright, so they don't have the mana for vengeance right now. For justice. If they had if they had seven mana, if they had vengeance mana, I'd be playing Grizzled Ranger. Okay, go hard down. They're tapped out. We must not relent. All right, so that worked out. Garen will regenerate. We'll have the attack token again now. So now we'll be able to play like Grizzled Ranger with the Plaza with the attack token. Never lost a fair game. Played one. Dead in their tracks. Slow down, will you? I'll buy you some time. Ah, quit your yapping. So my ten. Many dreadway deck hands. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Ooh, not vengeancing the Garen. We do what is right. Okay. I'll take not vengeance Garen. I guess I don't know. I don't know if this is worth a challenge or not. I don't know if I just like let them have this, and you know, deal three damage to them. Best run yeah, I'll, I'll let them have it. Yeah, so the, like they'll just have like go, you know, like go hard withering whale, like that kind of stuff. If they have vile feast, like that's just an, you know, that that's just two. Um, Doom Beast could do an additional point of damage to me, which uh, it's a little problematic, but it's... I'm happy with not pulling it right now. I'll just do this first before the Cythria. This is pretty nice having the attack token both turns with Garen and Ground Plaza. This is really nice. Yes, it is, Harvey. It's pretty nice. Okay, so they did have the Doom Beast to drain an additional point. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Heavy. Justice waits for no one. Uh, I can't. The Badger Bear doesn't have a challenge. Doesn't have challenge. Follow my lead. So it couldn't. It couldn't challenge. All right, we're two and zero. Oh. Defeated Go Hard. Even with kind of doing nothing the first few turns, getting that leveled up Garen was awesome. And they they vengeance the Scythria. They didn't vengeance the Garen. You can chump Garen, right, but you can't chump, like, everything every turn, like, attacking multiple times. You know, like, you get twice as many attacks with Garen. You have to, you have to chump twice as much. It's not scary. Like, Sith 
Scythria is not scarier than Garen. They're going to be having their fearsome stuff, which, like, House Spider is, like, usually a really good blocker for us, but I guess we can't keep House Spider. Um, I like both of these tricks, and I like the Bright Steel Protector. I kind of like... I don't know. I'm going to just keep it all. Well, that was weird. <laughs> okay, well, I guess this is looking good so far. Cool, no Pale Cascade. That is good. What's up, Garen? No. I was thinking, like, does it make sense to develop, you know, does it make sense to develop with the Bright Seal Protector? Um, I think that they're going to have the four mana Allegiance card. Oh, no, just Risen Miss? All right, maybe it would have made sense to develop with Bright Seal Protector. I was thinking that they would, they were going to be playing the, the Allegiance card, getting the other Mr. Eighth. Man, their hand was not very good. But that can change. They can just drop down a whole bunch of fearsome stuff, and that can change. I stand ready. Man, I, I want to use Whirling Death, but then, you know, Pale Cascade kills Garen, where I can just block like this, and then if they do something. Yeah, I just block like this. I, I respond if they do something. I would love... Best best case scenario is they play Unspeakable Horror. Uh, not right there. Not now. <laughs> During combat. It would have been. Okay. Because they would have played it during combat, then I would have been able to Whirling Death, level up the Garen, uh, not die to Unspeakable Horror. Alright, they're going Mark. We'll go Whirling Death. Get a nice Garen level up. Going to Sack Draw 2. Okay. Acceptable. Still gonna get a nice Garen level up. We're gonna go Bright Seal Protector single combat. And Rune Weaver. They could have another glimpse beyond. Come closer. I don't fight. I may have to double single combat in case of Glimpse Beyond. I didn't want to single combat the other one because if they had like another Mark of the Isles for the other one or Pale Cascade for the other one. I mean I guess I would have had Sharp Sight, but I, I just thought that this was safe of just getting get the barrier. On Garen first. We must not relent. I also did this incorrect. By also, I meant I did this incorrect. I should, I should pass right there. Like, let, I should let the Crawling Sensation happen, and then I single combat, so I'm not passing priority here. See, like, how they get to end turn. So then, then, then they would pass back to me, and then I would be able to play Rune Weaver if I would so choose. But that's a pretty great Sithria draw. I'm not expecting Ruination. I'm not expecting a deck like this to play Ruination. Mix 
their attack a little bit more difficult as well. We could use a bite. Hold fast. No closer. Okay. I know I could open attack, but I think that like with everything else, like all their other stuff kind of dying, I feel like I should probably just block my Cithria away. Because they're at two. And just in case, they would just have, I don't know, double Noxion Fervor or something like that. You know, Noxion Fervor, Unspeakable Horror. Like, I, I don't think that going to four would would have been worth it. <laughs> Alright, back back over to Targon with Lee Sin and Zoe. So the question is, um, like, have our initial reactions about Grand Plaza been overinflated? Is it as busted as we thought a week ago? Now that we play the card more? Maybe, maybe not. I... No, no, I think it's still as busted. I think that people have kind of gotten a little lazy with Grand Plaza decks of, of like, you know, like everybody else is like tuning their decks and like changing their decks for Grand Plaza. And I just, I don't think the Grand Plaza decks have really, um, they haven't really changed anything or adapted. I guess that's, that's a better word, adapted. Too much. Um... To be honest, but I think as as an individual card, it does too much. Now, also, that being said, it's in it's in a region, Demacia, that's that that's underpowered compared to the other regions. Like the rest of Demacia is honestly underpowered compared to regions, especially compared to Targon. The strength of Targon really makes it where, honestly, like right now, if we have the seasonal tournament right now, uh, like this weekend, I would be playing three decks that were Targon. I would, there is no way you could convince me to register a deck that wasn't Targon. I'd be playing um, a deck that we're going to play tomorrow, um, a Nightfall control deck with Diana and um, Nocturne and a bunch of Targon stuff, and then I would have, you know, like... Aurelian Soul, uh, Leona, for example, for that, that, you know, that is a deck, and then a Zoe deck, Zoe, you know, whatever, Zoe, Lee Sin, if you, if you like Lee Sin, I don't, but like, Zoe, Victor, so, you know, you, there's tons of things you can do with Zoe, right, so I would just be playing three decks with all sorts of Hush and, and Pale Cascades and, uh, Invokes and everything. Okay, let's see, so the, so Grizzled Ranger uses my mana the best, right here but then they play hush and then i'm kind of looking at like what else you know what am i doing but it still just uses it's just for where what my hand looks like with the curve and everything else i just don't have a better option even though yeah they just do that so my targon's pretty busted yeah kind of the problem with whirling death right like if this was the the other fight spell would be better, but Whirling Death has been good for us so far, but it's it's not as good against Targon because of all the burst speed interaction that Targon has, and it requires some difficult setup. Alright, am I going over this 2-2 two -two House Spider or the 3-1 Grizzled Ranger? I guess the 2-2 two -two House Spider. Yeah, Targon's busted.
Yeah, like I said, you you couldn't convince me to play any any region, you know, any deck that didn't have Targon. Now, who knows? There's going to be, you know, like that's that's this weekend. There's going to be balance patch update in Feb or uh, in January. So we don't know what's going to happen there. I fight with the dragon fury. Yeah, I'd like to play Garen and have double whirling death. Has it just been the plus two plus zero card? Which, you know, I guess that, that card's great with Lee Sin. Yeah, I mean, I guess that card's great there. My lands, Lee Sin, your That's 14 damage. No. Uh, Riot has not mentioned any specific um, buffs or nerfs that are going to happen in the future. There's nothing wrong with Lee Sin. Lee Sin's perfectly fine. Like you, you can't like nerf Lee Sin anymore. Otherwise, it's it's hardly playable as is. You can't really nerf it more. Otherwise, it won't be playable. I mean, the, the problem is Targon as a region and like all these spells in Targon and everything. That the card Lee Sin is perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. Again, one mana short from you know Sharp Side and Whirling Death. Alright, so my plan here is to not allow them to have the Lee Sin block my Overwhelm Garen. And whatever the Draggling blocks, I Whirling Death Draggling. That eh, doesn't really help. I still go down to 10. Still open attack. I, I really needed both Sharp Side and Whirling Death to fight this Lee Sin. I have to I have to whirling with Garen so the Garen levels up. This still should just be my opponent open attacking and killing me. Um if I would if I would whirling Lee, then like maybe like a single combat could help, but again, like they're gonna be able to get barrier and everything anyway. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Yeah, I know I'm dead. This game's been over for a long time since he had double equinox. Hush. This game's been over. Alright. I'll do it. Okay, you thought I had more mana than I did? Yeah. Elise Timo. So they're going to be pretty aggressive. I'm going to keep uh, single combat. But I want some cheaper units. Alright, yeah, get those predictions in with your channel points. Are we going to win or lose? Come closer. I don't well, they got both their champions. You suffer long. And I didn't find anything that cost one or two as far as the unit goes with my mulligan. So, looking like a loss right now. <laughs> Thanks, House Spider. Thanks. To serve the For nothing. Good. Have a mushroom. Have three. I heard about you. So young.
All right, well, we know for sure we're getting rid of the Teemo. We're going to go ahead and do that. Garen could be really nice with this other single combat if I can keep that two mana available for that single combat. I've always been a fun guy. I'll distract this thing. So I was thinking, like, Peddler, I can block. That could be a good way to just nerf Go Hard, it would be just to change the wording so that it says, um, you know, like, so, like, if it, if the spell would fizzle like that, it doesn't just make more copies. There's a bunch of little things they could do with Go Hard. Drawn four puff caps on two cards. <sighs> we could use a bite. Slow down, will you? <laughs> Yesterday you drew three puff caps turn two. <laughs> Your opponent hit you with the team mode, gave you five, and you drew three of them immediately. Looks like a loss. They had a really good, really good hand. You know, obviously Timo, Timo, Elise, Peddler for turn one, two, three, and then uh, you know three Go Hards, two Mystic shots. After that, good hand. What's a warrior but hands to wield a weapon? So I'm playing this so I can have concerted strikes. Obviously, I, I have to kill this Peddler. Okay, well it doesn't matter anymore. Jeez. No, we must start over. All right, well, it started off really strong for us. That was an incredibly good hand for them there. Really, just the perfect hand. Teemo, Elise, Peddler, and then all go, go hards and Mystic shots after that. Yeah, perfect hand. So, GG's. I didn't have you know I didn't have anything to play turn one or turn two. I didn't have any of these eleven cards. Oh, well, our tech, our tech looked pretty good, though. Again, we had a lot of good decks today. Like, look at these records. Three, two, three twos, and, like, three twos are good records, right? Like, six, you know, you win six out of ten. Sixty percent, that's a good record. That's a very good record. So, um, you know, a good, a good solid deck here with this uh, Garen Riven. The uh, Garen looked great in here. You know, like, we were leveling up Garen quite a bit. Whirling Death was hit or miss. There was a couple of times where Whirling Death was very good. A couple of other times where um, it cost us being Whirling Death instead of being the three mana card like against like the zoe deck the zoe lee sin deck we needed it to be the other three mana fight spell the dragon one strafing strike um that that would have helped us there because we just weren't able to play it during combat until it was too late uh, but then but earlier earlier games it really helped being whirling death and like it was it was nice with garen like it was like whirling death was perfect with the captain farron right it, when we had the captain farron mirror um us having us having our Captain Fair and Trump theirs with the Whirling Death was much much better than like a Strafing Strike would have been. So, 
Um, yeah. All right, so good, really good uh, decks today. Uh, again, those of y'all on YouTube, try this deck out and let me know. I really want to see those comments of y'all uh, testing these decks and let me know how you like them. You know, how is this one playing for you? Anything you really like about it? Anything it struggles with? All that kind of stuff. Love hearing that feedback, which decks y'all like. And what do, you, what do y'all want to see up next? You know, give me those suggestions for other decks and we'll get to that. All right, but that's it here for Garen Riven. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.